It's no secret that people come online, start to shop, and then something interrupts them, whether their kids need them, whether their boss needs them, or for whatever reason, they leave items in your shopping cart. As a store owner, you want to encourage them to come back and complete their purchase. And this is where abandoned cart management really shines. Head on over to My Sales and Abandoned Carts. And you'll see here on the screen, I have one abandoned cart. Of course, this is just for demonstration. You may not have any at this point, or you might have several. So let's talk about some tools that can help you with abandoned cart management. Just a note, you may need to upgrade your plan in order to access this feature. All right, let's talk about what an abandoned cart is, first of all. When you go shopping and you choose an item and put it in your cart, your order is considered to be in progress. If I don't complete the purchase or I click off and close the browser, your store will consider that to be an abandoned cart. Internal studies show that if you manage this process well, you can actually increase your sales by around 20%. So it's something definitely worth paying attention to. You'll notice here on the screen, I have currently one cart in progress. You'll also notice I have recover abandoned carts automatically turned on. Now this is important because this is the default when you set up your store. And what that means is after two hours, your store will send out the abandoned cart email. You can change the email subject and default message for customers here. And this is the text that we sent automatically to customers who abandon their carts. The second is to manually send out the abandoned cart email. I can just click here and say, send email. Once again, it allows me to customize the content of that email. And you'll note that the product that was in my cart is there. I'm going to send email and you'll note the reminder email has been sent. Here's what the email looks like that a customer would receive. And if they click on that, it will take them straight to my store where they can complete their order. If you have a store with a lot of customers and a high volume, you probably just want to leave this at the automated settings so that you don't have to constantly check and manually send emails. If you have a small store and you want that personal touch, well, then you can turn these off by just disabling them. And then each time you send a manual reminder, you're able to customize the content if you'd like. Clicking on the update button again allows us to actually manually place the order. Now, if I do this, the order is moved to the regular order list. The product will still need to be paid for. You may need to reach out manually in order to receive payment and you'll need to make sure you update the payment status to accurately reflect this particular order. It is important to note that until you click place order or the order is completed, the items are not subtracted from your inventory. Once you click place order, the item is removed from your inventory. So if your shoppers are abandoning their carts, your online store gives you a number of ways that you can reach out and help your shoppers be motivated to come back and complete their order.